Everybody, Cookie Time Gal, and welcome back to a new video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make bow ties out of duct tape. Um, we're going to be doing two sizes: the regular size, which is just the standard duct tape size, and one that's a little larger in case uh, you want to use it for um, a bow tie on a collar for a dog, or a bigger uh, bow tie for a present or something. And the standard size, if you want to use it for a hair clip or on a bracelet or something. So um, if this is something you're interested in and you'd like to uh, learn how to do this, then go ahead and learn. come down to the desktop with us and we'll get started. Okay, tools you're going to need for this project are duct tape, several rolls of duct tape of your color choice. Um, I have Prismacolors. I have um, glitter colors. I have polka dot colors. I have standard colors. I have print colors. Um, and here's another standard color. I have all kinds of duct tape. We're going to do, um, I think this is called Puppy Potpourri um, from Duct Tape. Um, it has little pictures of puppies on it. Really cute. I'm going to make the standard bow out of this. Um, and we're going to put a bobby pin on it. You could also put a hair clip on it, a um, little clip, whatever. Or you could put um, a ponytail or rubber band on it. And we're going to be doing this this brown color, this light brown color. The light brown color is a 3M tape. That's what you're going to want to do. You're also going to need a craft knife, uh, exacto blade. You may need a pair of scissors. Um, you may need a bow. I'm using a bowl holder to help puff up the um, bow when we're done, but you could use the end of your X-Acto knife. You could use a pen or pencil. You could use the end of your scissors. You could use just about anything to help puff up the, the thing. And you're also going to need a metal ruler, or I'm using a T-square. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take Take your uh, solid colors. I have to think for a second there. And you're going to want to measure it out. A six inch strip. And you're going to want to take your print color measure out a seven inch strip. Now to your print color, you're going to want to cut two strips, two one-fourth inch strips out of it. Measure with your ruler. Use the lines on your mat to help you. You're going to want to pull up your solid color, put it sticky face up, take your strip, and leave down your two one-fourth inch strips, leave them down, and you're going to want to put this face up, 
and put it on the edge so that uh, extra sticky stuff is hanging off of one side. So put it flush up against, put it down in the middle so that sticky is showing off of both sides of your strip like this. Like this. Then you're going to want to fold over the edge of both bottom and top. going to give you that two-toned effect. I'm sorry. It's going to give you that two-toned effect. Okay, then you're going to take this here and cut it in a triangle shape. Then you're going to want to fold it on itself like this and stick it down so that they're touching like this and fold it and crease it so you have this. Then you're going to want to take one of your strips. <coughs> And you're going to want to put it in the middle and fold it around until you run out of sticky tape. So you have this. And you're going to want to fold and crease your bow. Like this. Take your other sticky strip. And start to roll it. On top of the other strip. Do like two wraps. Get your bobby pin. Or your clip. Or your rubber band. Stick it on the back. And weave it in. So now you have your bobby pin in it. Okay, take your poker tool or your end of your craft knife or your bone folder or whatever, and you're going to work it in to the bow. Like this. And you're going to fluff it. Put it into the other side and flop it. Back, back, back. 
a 7 and 8 inch strip, we're going to make a 9 and 10 inch strip. And it'll be a bigger bow. So again, um, with your main color in the middle, you want it to be, pick out which one you want it to be, and I want it to be this uh, holographic color in the middle. So we're going to uh, do two 10 inch strips. We're going to do 10 by 3 inch. So we're going to do 10 inch by 3 inch. Here's 10. We're going to overlap it. To make it 3 inches. So 5, 6, 7, 8. Go to the 8. And then the smaller strip is going to be a 9-inch strip, and we need to make it a 9 by 3 as well. And I want my polka dots to line up. Well, it really doesn't matter because you're going to be putting the strip on top. So it really doesn't matter if the polka dots line up or not. Okay. Just pull up your nine inch strip, flip it over. Oh, forgot. You're going to cut out half inch strips this time. Instead of quarter inch strips, you're going to cut out nine inch strips. Or instead of quarter inch strips, you're going to cut out half inch strips. Almost forgot to cut that out. We're going to line it up in the middle of your, um, you're going to take your 10 inch strip, line it up in the middle of your 9 inch strip so that they're sticky on both sides, and you're going to put all the sticky on one side, on the left or the right. And then we're going to fold over your sticky on both sides. We'll flip it over and you're going to put this and make this triangle. And fold it over upon itself. Dip it down, make it even, crease it. And we'll take one of your half inch strips. And we'll wrap it around.
Well, this one's a lot easier to fold. Just kind of crinkle that a little bit. We'll take the other half inch strip. Wrap it around twice. Put your rubber band in. rubber band in and wrap it around. Now you have this, and you're going to pluck your bow with whatever tool you're using. Your finger can get in here pretty nicely. It's a bigger bow, unless you got really bulky fingers. In which case, use your scissors, your bone folder, the end of your exacto knife, bamboo skewer, pencil, pen, whatever you happen to have. Walk your bow. Walk your bow. And there you have it. You have your bow. So, I made this one off camera. We have two of these bows. And we have the miniature bow. The, the standard size bow. And there are the bows. You can make any size bow you want. Just make it um, one size and then make it an inch smaller for your, middle, your other section. You can make them any size you want. But that was the tutorial for today, folks. Hope you all had a good day. Thank you very much for joining. Catch you on the flip side. Hey, while you're at it, why not subscribe to the channel? Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing today. Leave me ideas that can help boost my channel ratings or ideas for future content on the channel. Click the notification bell so you know when I have new videos out or when I go live. Share my um, videos on social media outlets such as Facebook or Instagram so that way my videos can reach more people and I can grow my audience. Click the like button below. That really helps my channel to help reach more people on YouTube. Supporting me is really great and it helps me grow my channel. I'm not a very big channel at this time and it's really important to me that I get support from fellow YouTubers. I really appreciate you all. I really appreciate that you take time out of your busy day to view my videos and to spend time with me on a daily basis. I try to put videos out on a daily basis so you have something to watch and something to entertain yourselves with. I try really hard to make my channel a positive place for people to come and have fun and be entertained. So I try 
really hard to make things enjoyable for people. So if you, if you support me, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so very much for your time. Have a great day, and we'll catch you on the flip side.